Hi, I'm Chuck with Razorback Off-Road. Today I want to talk to you about the new 2021 and newer Polaris Trail and Trail S machines. And this journey kind of started about a year ago when Polaris first came out with these machines. My family got real excited about getting a new uh, 50 inch machine and we ordered the machine when it showed up we were completely underwhelmed with the looks of it my wife said it looks like a volkswagen and i'd have to agree with her it's got a real rounded roof it has not real good visibility out of it so we got it in the shop and i said let's transform this thing let's show people they can take their machine and take it from this and turn it into this and this is our brand new windshield and a uh, desert roof that we just came up with from Razorback Off-Road. Come on up just a little more, will you? And the whole idea is that you can take your machine from this and turn it into this and really get that really kick-ass Baja off-road desert racing look on your uh, trail or trail ass machine. Now that we got these machines side by side, I want to show you a little bit how the transform transformation took place and why we did some of the things we did. And the first thing that's very evident is Polaris went with this real rounded roof. And uh, as I said earlier, we feel it's kind of Volkswagen-y looking, uh, from reminiscent of the Beetle days, really didn't like it. So we focused on changing the roof line. And you can see we brought in a really nice flat roof line. We also wanted to increase the visibility here. As you can see on this machine, this front of the roof comes way down. It looks like an eyebrow almost. And being a taller guy, I felt it kind of hurt me from a visibility standpoint from kind of looking up. So we worked on increasing all of that area. I also wanted to make sure we had our light bar not mounted on top of the roof because when you're riding in the trails with a light bar on top, there's always the risk of tree limbs hitting it. Um, and, and getting caught up on there. So I really wanted to make sure we got this thing tucked down inside. From an air management standpoint or a dust management, we're always working on trying to improve airflow over the machine. So we have these huge ducts in the top of the uh, visor here to help deflect air over the top and then up and over that wicker bill. And then to round everything out, we incorporated our folding windshield. So. The one thing I do want to point out on the video is we had to make this as a package. Our folding windshield current state will not work with this. And the reason is we would have had to make the windshield so short that we didn't feel consumers would buy it. So in order to open that up, we, after designing our windshield or our roof, we were able to design a roof to allow us to have a bigger opening windshield. So if you were to, if you want this folding windshield, you need to buy it with this package, with the roof, or you need to come up with your own version of a roof. Another thing that we worked on was what we feel is a safer roof. I do have to kind of do a disclaimer here that we haven't done adequate rollover testing to validate this, but I believe with all my heart, since this roof is made out of aluminum, it has reinforcement across it with the shelf, if I had to roll over, I'd rather do it with this roof than that, that one. And safety for my family is, is very uh, important to me on these machines. And so kind of getting back to our windshield, most of you know we have a manual wiper blade on this. We also have our vent full, or our sliding vent in front. This windshield's awesome. When you're trail riding and you're going under 35 miles an hour and it's the middle of the summer, and it's hot, you can fold this down and instantly you're gonna drop the temperature inside the cab. A Little bit later on the ride home, you can just fold the windshield up, lock it in place, and now you're keeping all that cold air off of you. If you're somewhere in the between, you can just open up the vent and, and let a little bit of air through here. So we really feel we're focusing on, uh, on just a kick-ass package for these machines. And as I refer to package, I'm gonna move here to the back and talk a little bit more about the add-on options. So here you can see we've got our Rotapax mount and it clamps right on to these roll bar mounts. We also have our storage rack that goes on here. And then over here, we also have our chainsaw mount. So the whole idea was that consumers could slowly upgrade your machine. You know, you could start out with a roof and a windshield package, 
then add a Rotapax mount, you know, then add a, uh, a tray in the back and a chainsaw mount. And one of the things that was very important to us is that you could do all of this with minimal tools. Um, as you'll see in our video, you could put this on in just a couple hours in your driveway. So we wanted to make it uh, very easy to install and to look cool. It's something we're extremely proud of. We also designed a back windshield for, or a window for this with a sliding window. And it also has this built-in tray that we're very well known for in the back. Every person that has seen us as we've been out testing this, I actually have an off-road track at my um, behind my house and I've been out jumping this thing for, the neighbors aren't very happy with us, but some of my friends have been coming over and we're just beating the hell out of this thing to see where we can get cracks and rattles out of it. And, uh, and everybody that looks at it says, this is just a gorgeous looking package and it's very functional too. Well, I'm going on and on, but I just wanted to convey to you some of the things that we're working on and what's available for your machine right now. And I wanna thank you so much. You know, we're a small business here in Mountain Home, Idaho, and every time you buy from us, you're helping to keep people employed. And for that, I really thank you, and I hope to see you out on the trail.